hey, Oleg asks about doing a custom design for the root shop page and then just listing the products in the category on the category pages. So in other words, on the shop page, you customize it on the category pages. It just shows the products in that category. Well, we can do that in Breakdance. It's going to take one line of a custom PHP condition. I'll show you how to do it. So we're going to do templates, add template, and choose shop page in all product archives. Okay, let's add it in Breakdance. And we're now going to design the uh, layout for the product category. So I'll add a section and I'll add a columns. I will add two columns. In this column, I'm going to add shop filters. And in this column, I'll add the shop page element. And let's go ahead and make this column uh, quite a bit wider. And just so it looks good on video, I'm going to go to products list layout and I'm going to choose products per row is going to be uh, three. Okay, that's fine for the categories. Let's save this and let's take a look on the front end and see what we get. So if we view the shop page, we get that design. And if we view a category archive, we also get that design. But now we want to do something different on the shop page. Well, how are we going to do that? We're going to use a condition. So let's only show this for product categories. How do we do that? We go to section, settings, conditions, edit conditions, add a condition, and we're going to add a custom PHP condition. And what do we want to do? We want to return true if we're on a category page and false otherwise. So return is product category. You can go to Google and Google is product category and um, you will see that this function simply tells you whether it's a product category or not. That simple. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's close out of the editor and apply the conditions and save. And now let's go to the shop page and we'll see nothing because this is not a product category. And let's go to the product category and we'll see this because it is a product category. Okay, now let's go back into Breakdance and build this shop page section. So this should just be another section. And this is just going to be, you know, my custom shop page design. And here you can add images or you could use a products list element to display, you know, the specific products you want. Like you choose manual and you, maybe you just want to show like, you know, these three products just like this. And there you go. I'm not going to make a fancy custom shop page in this video. I just want to show how you would do it. Okay, this is the custom shop page design. We only want to show this when we are not on a product category. How are we going to do that? Again, settings, conditions, edit conditions, add a condition, choose custom PHP, open PHP editor. And this time we're going to return not is product category. So in other words, if it's not a product category, we'll show this. Otherwise, we'll show the other thing. All right, let's close that, apply the conditions, and save. And let's come over to the shop page. And here is the custom shop page design. And let's go to the category archive. And here is the custom category archive design. Let's prove that those filters work. And they do. All right, that is how to do this in Breakdance. That really is the beauty of having all this stuff built into Breakdance. I think some commenters said, oh, this is hard. You need some third-party plugin or, you know, whatever. No, you don't. You just, you know, it's built into Breakdance. Breakdance is designed in such a way to make a lot of this stuff actually super easy.